Welcome back everybody to Back Home the Unknown and today I have something really special that I've been waiting for to come in the mail. It's not an unboxing episode. I've already taken this out of the box. I was so excited I couldn't wait. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Star Wars Vintage Collection Electro Staff Purge Trooper. Yes, I was waiting for this figure for so long. I've seen reviews on the other Gaming Greats figures. I was really excited to take a look at this one because this one is exclusive to Entertainment Earth. So you can't get anywhere else, Walmart, Target, everyone's got their own exclusives, but this one is an exclusive to Entertainment Earth and I don't think they've had many exclusives recently. So this is just a vintage collection figure from the Gaming Greats line. We've reviewed some of the other figures already. Uh, we're going through the rest of them right now. Um, but this is one figure that I've really, really, really wanted to tear into and see if he looks um, as good as his Black Series figure did. Now, with the Black Series, we've opened up a lot of the Gaming Greats and especially the Electro Staff Purge Trooper for the Gaming Greats. But one of the issues that we had with that was some of the Electro effects that they had for his staff. They just fell off. So you kind of had to pose him so that the staff was just sideways. Uh, so the electro pieces and effects would just kind of be horizontal with the figure, which isn't bad, but it doesn't lead to a lot of dynamic poses unless you put in some other glue or some other pieces to hold it in. So out of the, bo out of the box, it's not great. Um, so I want to see if they've improved that with this vintage collection figure and see if it's the same quality or not because the figure itself was great it's just those electro uh, effects on the staff so let's stop talking about it let's take a closer look at the packaging all right everyone so here we have the figure in its box and again i love the art that they chose for this it looks great it's a great looking card uh they even show down here uh star wars jedi fallen order which is where these guys are seen from uh, loved that game. It was a really good game. If we can get it in focus, it's a downside to this. Um, so the game itself, I had a really good um, time playing that game as well. Now with the Black Series figures, they haven't switched over to the new design yet, but they actually had like a spe special symbol that they would use, and they actually brought that over. So the, the sticker that would normally be on the Black Series is brought over here. There we go. And again, it's got the rest of the figures in the line on the back right there. All those other legalese and everything else on the back right there. And that's the figure. So again, this is an Entertainment Earth exclusive figure. It is VC195. And let's go ahead and tear them open. <laughs> right. So here is the Electro Staff Purge Trooper from the Vintage Collection. The Gaming Greats, uh, I guess, line of that. It doesn't have anything on the Gaming Greats on the front, but if you flip it over to the back, it has that traditional sticker that would be on the Black Series figures that you could only get at GameStop or EB Games. And again, on the back, there's your Electro Staff Purge Trooper, along with the other figures in the line from the Gaming Greats as well. Um, on the front, it is a great image. Uh, they have the Star Wars chase around. Again, it looks fantastic from Jedi Fallen Order with the Kenner logo right there. I think this figure looks fantastic. I can't wait to tear into them. So let's stop talking about it and just tear them open. All right, guys, so first up, out of the packaging, this guy looks phenomenal. Uh, he's got the cloth, I guess, skirt right here. Uh, he's got some markings on his arm, on his leg. If you lift up, well, I don't know, I can't. It's actually a hard rubber bandolier, but he's got the Imperial signet, signet on red right there on his shoulder, and on that side as well, he's got stripes on both of his arms. He's got a deep maroon for the visor, which looks really good. And guys, they fixed the staff. This is the thing that I was the most interested uh, to kind of see if they were going to change or not. Um, so you can do this and they don't fall off. They fixed it from the Black Series. That's great. Um, this was my biggest hang up with the Black Series. So you couldn't do a lot of dynamic poses with this figure because 
as soon as you would turn the staff sideways, um, the electro effects would fall off. Oh, his thumb's bent down. Um, so, as soon as you would try to do something, I'll get in there. Um, oh no, his thumb. So, as soon as you would try to do something with uh, the staff, oh, this one's going to fight me too. Come on. Um, as soon as you would try to get an effect with the staff or get him into a really cool pose, um, the, uh, the effects would fall off. So, oh, come on. So maybe we have an issue with him holding the staff now. Um, but he should be able to hold that fine. But it looks like that's not an issue for this figure. So you should be able to get him into some very dynamic poses. Um, he does have the clone body legs, so you got to have to twist them outward to raise them up a little bit more. But he's got a lot of good articulation. Um, as you can see, they're a little bit more um, fin-like for the legs. So that's why you're going to have to kind of adjust that. But I'm very happy that those don't fall off. So overall, if you guys want to army build with these, I would pick them up now if you can. Uh, because these are going to be very difficult to get later on. Um, let me see if we can get a good dynamic pose. Hey, there we go. We're standing. Not the best pose, but it's a start. Ah. Uh, but yeah, so this, this trooper, I really wanted to see if they were going to improve him or not, which they definitely did. So I'm glad to see that. And the staff, good improvement, guys. Very happy about that. Um, I'm Batkerm. Thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you on that next one. Bad Kerm out.